Today, we're gonna to talk about something that's super interesting and good because this is actually built by Polygon. And in fact, it is Polygon, but they're developing a new type of network and they need to incentivize people to use that. And hence why we think there's a huge opportunity to use it and get those free airdrops by jumping through a few loops, transferring some money and using this network. So in this video, we got Ron. Hey. How's it going? Ron's been re researching very heavy into this because we basically figure out what every step you need to do to maximize the reward you get from this. Okay, I don't need you anymore, Ron. Oh. <laughs> and with that, guys, let's get started. As Michael said, to qualify for the airdrop, you'll need to bridge funds and play around with the dApps. But keep in mind that these activities are on the mainnet, so you'll need at least around $50 to cover gas fees just to be safe. But don't worry, Polygon ZK EVM is actually pretty cheap to use. Recently, average gas prices is at one guay, so roughly a few cents, which is a pretty good deal. Only the bridging part that will be a little bit expensive because let's face it, you're transferring from Ethereum. But there are strategies you can use to save quite a few on those pesky gas fees. So I will show you step-by-step step on how to make the most out of this airdrop. All right, first and foremost, you'll need to add Polygon ZK EVM to your MetaMask wallet. So head on over to Chainlist, type Polygon ZK EVM, and add it to your MetaMask. Now you'll notice that it uses ETH for gas fees because it's a completely different architecture from the Polygon mainnet. So you'll need to fund your wallet with ETH by bridging them over from the Ethereum mainnet. So you can use the native Polygon ZK EVM bridge, or you can also use these third-party bridges. I personally recommend Orbiter Finance and Bungie Exchange because they have gas refund mechanics. And as we all know, bridging from Ethereum can be a little bit costly at times. Gas fees can spike to as high as $10 or $15. So if you don't wanna to burn too much ETH, you can go for these third-party bridges instead. Once you have everything set up and you have some ETH in your wallet, you can now start interacting with the dApps on Polygon ZK EVM. And the best way to see which dApps you can play around with is to go to DeFi Llama. Type Polygon ZK EVM, scroll down, and you'll see the top dApps that are ranked by their total value locked. So we definitely recommend using the dApps that have a very high TVL starting with QuickSwap. QuickSwap is a decentralized exchange that uses the same liquidity protocol as Uniswap. It's the most dominant DEX in the Polygon mainnet, so it makes sense that it's also the same for the Polygon ZK EVM. Now, there's a lot of things you can do on QuickSwap, but if you're only looking to qualify for the airdrop, there are three things that you can do. You can swap tokens, provide liquidity, and yield farm. Now, if you don't have a lot of ETH, this is the best strategy that I'm currently using right now. So once you're on QuickSwap, make sure that the network is on Polygon ZK EVM, not Polygon Mainnet. This is completely different. And the first thing you should do is to head on over to the analytics page. So this is all of the top performing tokens, as well as liquidity pools on QuickSwap. Now let's talk strategies here. If you want to minimize impermanent loss, you should go for stablecoin pools like USDT, USDC, or USDC DAI. You can even go for Stakematic and Matic because their price ratio is roughly one to one. Now it's important to consider impermanent loss when providing liquidity because if you're not careful, you can potentially lose money. Now we have a detailed video explained by Michael on how it all works. Feel free to check it out. Now you'll also notice that these stables have the lowest deposit fees out of all of them. These are great options for farming airdrops because we're just trying to conduct transactions with as little cost as possible. Learning from the Arbitrum airdrop, this is the best way to interact with smart contracts frequently, which is a very important step to get more airdrops. Once you've chosen which pool you want to deposit in, you'll need to swap to those tokens. So head on over to the swap page and swap your ETH for those tokens at a one-to-one -one price ratio. So if you want to put in five USDC, you will also need five DAI tokens. Don't forget to click the plus sign to add it to your MetaMask because all of these token contract addresses are different from Ethereum. Add token and you'll see it in your wallet right here. 
Now, once you've swapped your tokens, head on over to the pool page and deposit your pair here. Now, there are strategies you can use to manually change the prices where you provide your liquidity. So what this basically means is that it changes the spread of both of your tokens price. Now, personally for me, I find the risk reward ratio not favorable. So I would just stick to automatic because the protocol knows what's best. It knows the safest choice for you. And you always wanna be looking for this where the spread is very close, very tight, right? That's what you wanna see for stable coin pairs. But if you're going for volatile pairs like ETH USDC, there will definitely be a spread in its liquidity range because the price of ETH constantly changes, right? So depending on your risk appetite, you can either choose narrow if you want to play it safe, or you can choose wide for a bigger spread so that you can earn more fees, but then your risk for impermanent loss is much higher. Now, after you deposit your pair, you will receive an LP token, and these LP tokens are essentially NFTs that can be used to stake in the farm page to earn quick tokens, which are the native tokens of QuickSwap. So you'll be earning bonus tokens on top of the fees that you're already earning from your liquidity position. This is how DEXs incentivize you to provide liquidity to the protocol. So you can do whatever you want with your quick tokens. You can hold them or you can swap them to other tokens so that you can put them back into the pool, enlarging your liquidity position. So you get to earn even more fees and just rinse and repeat. However, keep in mind that claiming quick tokens will cost gas fees. So try to wait a few days or maybe a few weeks so that you can rack up enough quick tokens. Now, there are other features you can use in QuickSwap like making a quick safe, which is a multi-signature wallet similar to Gnosis Safe. And if you're into trading perpetual futures, QuickSwap has a perps market for you to do leverage trading. But just stick to the three things that I showed you if you just want to qualify for the airdrop. So as long as you sign a transaction with your wallet, you've already generated on-chain evidence that shows you're interacting with Polygon ZK EVM. But if you don't have enough ETH, try to at least conduct one transaction per week just to show that you're being consistent with your airdrop task. Just using QuickSwap is already a good enough strategy. Now, if qualifying actions for the airdrop involves interacting with different smart contracts, then that means you will need to interact with other dApps as well. So you can check out Coconut Swap, Dove Swap, Mantis Swap. These are also the top DEXs on Polygon ZK EVM, and they use the same liquidity protocol as QuickSwap. So the steps that I showed you can also be applied to them as well. And that concludes our guide for today. I hope you guys find it very helpful. If you want more information, we covered it step by step in our box mining article. Links in the description below. I also want to thank Bybit for sponsoring this video. If you haven't signed up with Bybit already, use our link down below and you can get up to $30,000 in rewards. And if you're interested in other airdrops, we have a dedicated playlist just for airdrops and we'll be making more in the future so that you don't miss out on those money making opportunities. Thank you very much for watching guys. My name is Airdrop Ron, shining out.